guys, it's John here, and this is just a quick video to compare our Android 14 One UI 6.1 with the brand new update to One UI 7.0, which is running on Android 15. So I've already run all the benchmarks under Android 14, and we're gonna just compare them to Android 15, see if there's really any major performance improvements. I haven't noticed anything particularly with One UI 7 or Android 15 regarding any improvements in performance massively. So it'll be interesting to see if there are any differences or whether it's just around about the same. So I'm gonna install this update now, and I will come back with the results and we'll see if there have been any improvements. Right, so I've run through all the tests and after the upgrade, we've got some interesting results here. So let's start off with Geekbench. So overall Geekbench has performed much better on of 2175 and One UI 7 compared to 1922 and an average multi-core of 6788 compared to One UI 6, 6141. So quite a big improvement there in CPU performance in Geekbench at least. So Looking at the GPU as well, we can see the average score is slightly higher on One UI 7. We've got 13,471 compared to 13,291. Now, I don't want to disappoint you too much, but that is basically where the improvements seem to stop. Comparing the Antutu benchmark here, we get a nice score of 1.8 million for One UI 6.1, but for One UI 7.0, we're only getting 1.5 million. Looking at 3D Mark now, and we can see the Steel Nomad light stress test here and we can see best loop, it can only get 1262 on One UI 7, although it does get a best lowest loop, and it is more stable at 64%. And the last test I did was the browser benchmark with Jetstream 2. We can see One UI 6 beating One UI 7 here with 200 points versus 193 points. So yeah, overall, not massive improvements here in One UI 7, apart from those initial geek bench results. So yeah, what are your thoughts down below? Have you noticed any improvements? I mean, I'm not a massive fan of the new One UI 7. Certainly the notifications and things on don't sit very well with me. It doesn't seem as intuitive as One UI 6 was, but that's probably just me needing to get used to it a bit more. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.